Okay, so we're starting with the cervical vertebrae. This is the atlas, C1. Um, anterior, posterior. So we have the sur superior articulating surfaces right here. If we flip it over, we have the inferior articulating surfaces. Uh, then anterior, posterior, so we have the posterior arch. Then we have the anterior vertebral arch. They're both vertebral arches. Um, we have the transverse process, which are these bumps on the side right here. We have the facet for the dens. The dens is on C2, which is the axis. Uh, we have the posterior tubercle, which is just the tip of the uh, posterior vertebral arch basically a spinous process. It doesn't have a spinous process, but that's C1's tubercle. Um, we have the transverse foramen, which are the holes right next to the transverse process, and the vertebral foramen, which is the big one right here. Uh, the groove for vertebral artery is just below the superior articulating surfaces, so you can see it's usually marked with a pen, because <laughs> uh, a lot of people just do that for and it's going to be in the lab as well. All right, so that's C1.